what if I am a Russian spy? Some people will be like, oh, you're definitely Russian. I'm not Russian, I'm taking my time. So many Koreans would be like, oh, you're Russian? And I'd be like, no, I'm American. Thank you very much. I would get so grumpy about it. Part of me wanted to just like wear a giant shirt of the American flag around Korea, cause then, Maybe then and only then, Koreans will see me and be like, Oh, she's wearing an American flag. She must be American. Because why would a Russian ever wear an American flag? Unless they're a spy. Hold on. It's getting deep. I don't know. Like in Korea, when I spoke Korean, they thought that I was Korean. But as soon as they see my eyes and they realize that I'm not Korean, they're like, Wait a second. You're a foreigner. What? Get out of here. Imagine if I had a North Korean accent. If you didn't know Korean, you'd just be like, Oh, she's speaking Korean. That's cool. But then, if I ever go to Korea, South Korea, they would be like, This Russian girl has a North Korean accent. <laughs> that would be crazy. Then I'd definitely seem like a Russian spy. If I started speaking with a North Korean accent in South Korea, I think they would be terrified. I get terrified. If your waiter or somebody is North Korean, you are like, you're like, Oh, my waiter is North Korean. It's weird. You feel like... Oh, why do they have a North Korean accent? It's so... It's really uncanny to hear a North Korean accent in South Korea. But here in the UK, it's opposite. Because here in the UK, I blend in. I'm like a ninja here in the UK. You think I wouldn't be. Being pure, like, in all white? That's the thing here in the UK. I blend into the walls. And then people see me and they're just like, oh, another British girl. Doing British girl things. And then I open my mouth and they're like, American. Blows my cover. I need to start speaking British. In it, bruv. <laughs> Quite sussy.